and flail their bayonets. Zulus beat them with shields and drive spears through their torsos. One officer, Charles Pope, raises a revolver and fires at a Zulu commander. The shot grazes his neck, another hits his leg. The Zulu throws his spear. Pope staggers into the grass, pulling at the skewer in his own chest, but the Zulu forces it back in and kills him. Some British flee toward a river as Zulus chase them on the rocky banks. All those captured or wounded are killed. The Zulus do not take prisoners. After the final shots of resistance are spent, 1,300 of the invading forces lie dead. The victorious Zulus ritually remove their clothes and disembowel them so as to allow the souls of the dead officers, infantry, and drummer boys to escape through the stomach, lest the Zulus be haunted by a trapped spirit. Night brings fog over the hills. Chelmsford makes his tepid return to Issa and Luana with his troops. The shrewd 